after the global food crisis got the world's attention, CSIS is out with its second report addressing global food security and how to fight it. After our 2008 report that was co-chaired by Senators Casey and Luger, um, we felt the need to move beyond some of the short-term issues that we covered in that report and really take a more in-depth look at some of the, the long-term drivers of agricultural productivity and of poverty in poorer countries. Uh, Senators Luger and Casey were at that point joined by Congresswoman McCollum uh, as a co-chair for obvious reasons I think you've already heard today. And in our efforts, we focused primarily on three areas. We wanted to take a look at uh, methods and approaches to raise productivity among smallholder farmers. We wanted to, to focus more on an area that we don't focus on much at CSIS. That's more the domestic uh, U.S. ag issues, especially in terms of the U.S. ag research agenda and what that means. And then finally, we wanted to look at the role of trade in uh, food security. In addition, d during the course of our efforts, um, the Food Security Initiative was announced by the administration, so we also looked at some of the organizational issues around that effort. The new CSIS report recognizes that significant progress has been made, but this report is especially valuable because it also calls to attention all the, unwork, all the undone work that we still have to focus on. It reminds us that many of the underlying causes of the food crisis have yet to be addressed populations continue to rise in developing countries. Food prices, pushed lower by the recession, are climbing again, and policies on biofuels and tra trade in the developing countries contribute to the crisis <coughs> have largely been ignored. The report being released today centers on the importance of boosting farm productivity to meet an expected doubling in the demand for food by the year 2050. It stresses the critical need for investing in agricultural research through university systems, through extension services, and national agricultural research systems. It pays special attention to the role of global trade in increasing food security and income security for everyone. Now, just last week, the Senate Foreign Relations Committee held a hearing on global food security. As Deputy Secretary of State Jack Lew told us, ensuring people are fed, and I quote, is not just about food. It is all about security, national security, economic security, environmental security, and human security. End of quote from the Secretary. Indeed, chronic hunger and poverty deeply affect international stability because hunger fuels so social disintegration and local conflicts and extremism. When we hear statistics like every five seconds a child in the world dies from malnutrition and what that means uh, increasingly and, and uh, significantly the, the numbers relate more to women and children uh, than they do to men but we know the number when you get to a billion people you're affecting, you're affecting everyone but this is mostly about how we're going to deal with God's children and what that means to our own common uh, humanity. And we don't have a magic wand here, but we do have a piece of legislation that allows us uh, to, to create a focus uh, in the White House, a focus in the Congress, and a, uh, an investment in a new strategy. Not just the, the old strategy of providing more aid and more resources. That's been a wonderful benefit to the people of the world. But this bill allows us to chart a new course. Thanks for watching. Visit CSIS.org for more resources.